Well, she's the woman who ate the most tacos at the Chronic Taco, taco Competition. 53 tacos. She also holds dozens of other competitive eating titles. Please welcome Stephanie to the show. <laughs> welcome. You ate 53 tacos in how long? It just took, you know, 10 minutes. That's it. Oh <laughs> it's just a snack. Let's walk over here. I want to show everyone how you're capable of this because most human beings would not be capable of eating 53 tacos in 10 minutes. So if you look at these balloons, let's pretend these represent the human stomach. Now, an average human, an average human, about two fists. That's a liter. Stephanie, you, your stomach has the ability to expand to almost six to seven liters. So this is someone like you or me, maybe we can eat five, six tacos. This is your stomach, 53 tacos. And yeah, what people need to understand here is that people like Stephanie have some unique characteristics. Her esophagus has the ability to almost expand the stomach even further because it relaxes so very much. Now, I want to show some, some pictures here because the other theory is that maybe competitive eaters have a type of bacteria that helps you digest more quickly. But we're going to look at two stomachs side by side. These are both x-rays. And this stomach is that of a normal person. It's empty, ready for food. This is that of someone who can really get a distended stomach. I don't know if you all can, can appreciate this, but have, can you notice how it's it's a little bit more relaxed. It's less taut than the normal stomach over here. So let's see what happens then after they start eating. This is someone with a normal appetite after seven hot dogs. And this is pointing to, th this. these are parts of the hot dogs here. You all see that in the stomach. Guess how many hot dogs are in this, in this stomach? 30, 36. <laughs> This competitive eater, this is not your stomach, but this competitive eater actually said that he wasn't full at all. And you can see how the stomach itself is bigger than the average person's stomach over here. And these were actually done by Dr. Mark Levine at the hospital at UPenn. And this last picture, I think this is the most remarkable one, Docs. So this is the competitive eater 10 minutes later. And I don't know if you all can appreciate this, but this is a massively distended stomach. And down here is where it's spilling out into the small intestines. This is 36 hot dogs. The only way you can do that is if your stomach continues and continues to expand. But this is precisely why you probably don't want to do this each and every day.